Sonny is, uh, as we all know, unique in many ways and, and uh, someone that we all respect. And I think this is probably true. Um, there's probably only, I don't know if there's anyone that's been honored in this way twice. So if you'll do the review. Just quickly, the university has recognized an anonymous contribution of $20 million, and that donor's direction to the university was to transfer the name from Hughes Field or from Hughes Stadium to the new on-campus stadium. So it will be recognized and known as Sunny Lubbock Field. So Sunny, love to turn it Joel, it's certainly unexpected honor, man, I don't know, I told Carol Joe, I said, this isn't going to be such a big deal, <laughs> uh, and then my friend Joe and Becky over there, they, they make me sound good, we got to turn off our phones, <laughs> or we all, we all get fined. <laughs> but Joe Vassos has a way of making someone look pretty darn good. <laughs> I know some of you <laughs> Well, I have to tell you one, maybe to get me started. I wrote some notes here, and I was told I could only speak a few minutes. <laughs> but it seems like, in, it seems like in many ways, this, in, I'm back in the use room after those games and those are some of the most cherished memories of seeing some of the people some of you are still there and a lot of them have, a long, have long since left us but I have to tell you this one is I don't know what a lot of people ask me how you enjoy retirement and that but now I'm working a lot but I'm not getting much money <laughs> but, uh, the other day and I know some of you have heard it but I think it's apropos here that I was speaking at a class in the College of Business. So one of the girls was introducing me. She introduced about three or four speakers previously. And I was sitting just like that. And she says, and it says here, our next speaker needs no introduction. I hope that's true because I don't know who he is. So they have a way of keeping you, uh, keep you down to earth here. Uh, I also want to say uh, just, hard, just so much to say and so many people to thank. But Joe Parker made me feel so comfortable and so good since coming to the, taking the job here and his wife Jen. There are two children. I know Emma and I know your son. I can't forget some of the names, but uh, there's just just great people. I can uh, see issues in such good hands, and you know, I followed the program and watched it ever since I left here. It doesn't seem like that long, 207, whatever. You people in the math can figure that out, but uh, I know we got ourselves uh, we got ourselves something special in Coach Bobo here, and just. You talk to him for 10 minutes and we got someone real genuine and who's a person you like to be associated with and uh, win, lose, or draw I'm with you all the time. And he, this, guy, this guy is something special. He's going to make this good. But I guess I'll try to look at some of my notes here and see if I you know how truly honored and unexpected this is. And, uh, because with our family this morning and all of them, Carol, Joe, it's been a lot to us. You all been here. I came here in 1982 as an assistant coach, and heck, we won five games our first year with Coach Fuller. 
I thought, heck, we should have bronzed this all and put us out there in front of the stadium. Because I think we, we, I think we followed an 0 12 season. And that, but uh, it was, I remember, I go back and still can remember being Wyoming there, but it's been a special place for us, our family. And it's always meant so much to me and personally, but uh, to our entire family, the friendships, uh, every friend I have in this city, I think there's more than one or two, has been, I met them at U Stadium, uh, met them through the coaching, enjoyed, I just enjoyed going to the booster meetings and talking, I don't know if anybody listened to me, but we, we always had a few laughs anyway, uh, and the friendships and the lasting relationships that I could see back, back there, my secretaries, uh, everything has just been and so great and this to be here today and, and the appreciation of the fans and the community i can i know how old i'm getting because when i go around town i always meet somebody i, I know they're over 60 and they always say thank you for what you've done for our our, our, our uh, college but the younger people they're they're off and they're going to make this thing better faster and greater uh as Coach Bobo and Mike set up here. It's been a it, it was a great privilege, a tremendous honor to be the coach of CSU. It, and I cherish that every day. I just enjoy those 15 years as the head coach and three years as assistant coach. That there was uh, just great moment. I I just couldn't wait to get to work here at 7 a.m. 6:30 go home at 10, but somebody asked me the other day, do you ever miss coaching? I said, I, I really do. I still think I could coach. I think I'd be a better coach today than I was 10 years ago just because I think I've learned more, appreciate people more, and care for them and love them more and, and love your student. Now, we didn't, you know, when I first started coaching, we couldn't say that word. But at the end, I started a couple of times. I know like Bobo does all the time, uh, tells his players know, I always have this statement, they don't, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And I, could, I know that his players care about him and he cares about them, but I was a great responsibility that when I say, when I'm standing up here talking about me, as, as we all know, it takes a lot of people to help you get through this, but I can't tell you what a what a privilege and how great, just an honor to be here for 15 years. And somebody asked me, I guess I started with that one thing, you ever get tired of coaching, so my mind, it goes out. But anyway, uh, I wish I could still be coaching, I wish I could still do it. I think I could be valuable, except I hate those darn Sundays. <laughs> When it was 70 to 70 or 80 degrees on a nice September, October day, and we're up there watching tape, and I look out the window and see all the people playing frisbee out here on the lawn, everybody doing things. And I remember my first year in 208. It's the first fall I actually ever had without coaching since 1955. And I didn't know how nice the falls were. Everybody said, the falls here are great. <laughs> <laughs> the only time we get to appreciate it was in uh, Saturday afternoon. You go up there, and it's beautiful. Then back to work we go. We come back out at 10 o'clock at night. So it's been an honor. And then our first facilities here, we came here. And uh, I remember Coach Magasu. But he was here already and we brought Dave Lay back and he's looking at the pool. We just got our staff together and it was a great staff, great staff. Coaches, I, 15 years as head coach at Colorado State, never had to fire a coach. And uh, they were just, they were in it, they were as committed and they were in it more than I was. And of course we know it wouldn't have been done without them. And I remember our facilities, we didn't have a team meeting room and I remember going down to our team meeting where I saw Sean Moran in there. It's, a, it's in August, we're having pre-fall. We have our first team meeting, Mike, and it's down, this was all, the 
I don't know, the janitorial room, so we tore one apart and we could get a hundred guys in there, seven, seven at night meeting, they all had their shirts off, they're all in there, they were so hot, sweaty, no air conditioning, no nothing, man. I, I always think back, I always whisper in the people there, whoever listened to me, hell, we won more games that way than we do with all these fancy facilities. <laughs> Just, I, I just thought I'd throw that out. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, we'll take it. So maybe maybe we got a little softer along the line, but I I see our secretaries and I see everyone out there. I see Coach Ellers over there and all the people who have meant so much. And I just you know that something. I they asked me what was your plan when you came in here, and I really didn't have a plan. It was day to day. Let's just go to work. There are no shortcuts. Uh, let's see if we can, can get something done. But we, I guess I was fortunate to have so many people that helped me along the way.